Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Glory be to my Lord God Almighty, to the highest, and peace be to be mankind on this earth, whoever listens to this tape, or whoever knows about the salvation of my Christ, so that they could get out of the great vengeance of my Lord, which could be paid for them, those who do not obey the gospel of my Christ. And for the believers who really do not grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine, who are not acquainted with Christ, the same vengeance. Dear brethren, we need to know the great power of our Lord. As illustrated for us in Revelation chapter 6 verses 15 and 16. We are really worried to look upon the throne who has been sitting, the wrath of him. We cannot look upon him because of the lamb who has been sitting. Because his wrath is very dangerous. And that's what the people testify for us in Revelation chapter 6. To give a glimpse for us, if we ignore to grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine in 2 Thessalonians 1, 8 and 9, Apostle Paul quotes, Those who are not acquainted with my Christ, with my Lord, with my Savior, and why we need to be acquainted with Christ, that is the purpose wherewith God has called you. The purpose to make your election sure. The purpose that if a believer in this church age could open his mouth to speak, he has to speak as the oracles of God. If there is any pastor, teacher, bona fide gifted, the spiritual gifts which have been permanent, to edify the church, to edify yourself in the word of the Lord and give that number one priority for doctrine. The temporary spiritual gifts being seized, not involving any emotionalisms, after the completion of canon, completed after the death of Apostle John, somewhere around 1896, after writing the Revelation, we have been given to know what is the complete one as per 1 Corinthians 13.10. Or 10.13. When the completed one will come, which is the full completion canon of the scripture, which we are reading today, which we are enjoying today, which we need to cherish today. When this completed one will come, the permanent spiritual gifts which are been there, pastor, teacher, evangelism, administration and helps. Helps in the term of money as well, monetary help. These things have been given for us to edify the church. And the church, after the completion of canon, is not to be involved in emotionalism. If you have been involving in emotionalism through the works of miracles, healings or tongues, then take it granted that church is a satanic to the core. People do not believe today doctrine because they are much easier to meddle with the emotions rather than to sit and study and concentrate upon Bible doctrine. And that's what we can find according to the grace of God so that though I suffer in my flesh, I need to fulfill the deficiencies of the church which is outcalled of you. We do not know how much deficient we are, how much poor we are in the sufferings, in the sufferings to learn the word of the Lord. We are not here to be temporarily elevated from our suffering. We are being given this privilege to learn the truth so that Christ could be magnified in our body, so that it is no longer we who live, but Christ who lives in us. That is what we have been called, that is what we have been chosen, that is what we have been made. All under one thing of that body, the body which has been from Christ, or from God through Christ for us, that is the body with the church. And dear brethren, today many of the people do not understand the great passage of Galatians 4.19. A travelling of pain till Christ could be formed in you, the hope of glory. How can Christ be formed in you until unless you take a daily process of learning the word of the Lord? That's why Apostle Paul writes, Technia, my little children, Technia, just day by day process, day by day learning, day by day education, Technia minded children. Till Christ could be formed in you, I am going through this pain. Today, Pastor Teacher, what pain is going through? Does he sit and study the word of the Lord in isagogical, categorical, and exegetical method? Exegesis is unfolding the truth by teaching. Exegeomai. 
thoroughly, intently teaching the appropriate subject in the original languages of the scriptures. Today we are not able to hear from the mouth of a pastor what could be called as exegesis. Far less you can think and understand what could be exegesis. It is of a great pain and shame for us to tell you all these things. How our Lord intends for us that we need to be holy and blameless. How our Lord intends for us that we need to be unreproachable, irreproachable at the judgment seat of Christ. How our Lord designed for us through his own blood, redeeming like the way how he has redeemed Adam and Eve by putting them the coats of skin rather than their fig leaves for salvation. The fig leaves of salvation are for what? For these unbelievers thinking that they can have their salvation by their good deeds. And fig leaves will never come to their mind when it was been called. But Lord should provide the solution, the solution of coat, coat of skins given by Lord God Almighty, which represents the redemption and the salvation process for us, graciously given to us. That is what it will come to mind. That is what it will save them. That is what it will cover their nakedness. Or their real salvation in Christ. But many of the people don't believe these things, don't understand these things, don't consider these things. And they want to look upon that which is not right. And they want to go on to think they have greater wisdom, they have greater strength, they have greater understanding. Until and unless the wisdom comes from Lord God Almighty. That's what we have in First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.29, a great verse of all time. But Christ is for us wisdom. Christ is for us a great one of understanding. Because he has already made holy. He has already given for us redemption. He has done that which is true. He has done that which is perfect. But we don't claim the wisdom and the strength of God. The iskun, the stability power of God. Because why this iskun ability has been given for us to be dispenser? dispenser power has been given for us as for first, first Peter 4 11 to know and to understand what it is day by day inherent power that we gather that we take that we can look we could be absolutely fit for the work of Lord God Almighty dear brethren we could be absolutely fit for that work but today we are not able to understand this truth we do not even know what is our calling we do not even consider what is the purpose of our Lord in teaching us these things. They are just rather legally waiting upon that which is not fair, which is not correct, which is not true. Sunday service of the church is not the order of the church. Daily funds of the church, every day you need to come and learn the word of the Lord. That is the order. That is how you can develop your iskon, your strength. That strength which has been given for us, that we the believers in Christ are being called to speak the oracles of God before we open the mouth, are to be given as a teachers, as Hebrews 5.12 tells to us. By the time you need to be the communicators of the word. And since you are not being tried of the righteous word of the Lord, it meant to say still you are drinking milk. How much of suffering for blessing in either of the three stages in the spiritual life of providential preventive suffering or movement and testing under four categories or evidence testing under two categories, either of the one which you get, you need to be tried, you need to be grown up. If you are still drinking the milk, you are not being able to come to the tried nature of Christ. Tried in the sense examining nature of Christ. He wants to examine you. If you construct a thing, if you construct a pot, the way how they have been going to do it, they are going to test it, whether it is perfect or not, whether it is capable to be sold or not, whether it is really fatig or it is really worth. Likewise, our Lord should test us. That is what Hebrews 5.13 says. The one who is still drinking milk is not capable of going to the test. When Lord tries him, when Lord puts him to examination, Therefore, what you need to do, you need to grow up to eat strong meat. Do you think for your entire life, weekly months going to the church, you can become to eat strong meat? No way. You cannot take that stereo's foot. 
go and ask any athlete, any Olympic holder, if you go and ask any any football player or cricket player, he doesn't say, I practice only at the game. He says, continual practice is required for me. Then how much more you and I should be? They strive for the thing which is perishing, said the Apostle Paul. But we need to strive for the thing which perish not. And if we are not able to look upon that which will be absolutely confident for us to take, then how much more worse will be our life? Dear brethren, think over these issues. Time is too short. Responsibility laid down upon our shoulders is too large. And which way you want to go, you think, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our headboard and eyes closed, the closing events being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without open to eternal life. In order to telling to God, God the Father, that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself, we shall have eternal truth. This eternal truth for us is so very simple. Believing Christ, we shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great point is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire to possess the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the great point is Keru Sothon Lagan. Herald the word in season out of season, because the diamond from my witnesses where they have been called. Now on diamond from my witnesses, in the Trinity, follow the Bible in our hands, and number two hearers. If there are no hearers, not worried, besides nature, dear brother, the entire angel shall be witnesses. But what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of truth. So which way you want to go, you decide, dear brethren, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was going to fellowship to the word. We pray that Lord God, the whole spirit will challenge us on this thing, so that our Lord and Savior Jesus alone might be glorified for asking the question, Father. Amen.